Welcome to Drunk DIY, where we get crafty with cocktails. Today we're gonna make sheet music decor and drink pomegranate martinis. So let me tell you how to make this drink that I'm already drinking. For your pomegranate a martini, it's a very similar to a Cosmo. You need two parts vodka, one part orange liqueur like a Grand Marnier or a triple sec, one part pomegranate juice, and a whole lemon or lime, whichever you prefer. I personally prefer a lime, but today all I had was a lemon. As I always say, when life gives you lemons, make a pomegranate martini. Shake it up in your mixer with ice, pour into your martini glass, and get ready to craft. In magazines and Pinterest, I've seen some examples of framed sheet music for wall decor, and I absolutely love it. I personally am very drawn to music. I love songs and lyrics of all genres. Douglas also really likes music. He used to be in a band, he plays guitar. We're a family that likes music. So when I saw that, it spoke to me and I wanted to make it. So today, we're gonna learn how to make some sheet music decor for your walls, to hang up, to decorate. For this craft, you will need a printer, a computer, some cool antique paper, a picture frame of your choosing, and a favorite song. The first step is to pick a song. So get online, Google some songs that you think you might like, look up some lyrics that mean something to you, and pick something you want to frame. I chose Annie's song by John Denver. That's just a good song, I love it. I don't mind those lyrics being up on my wall. Do a Google image search of the sheet music and then you're gonna print it out. Now have some fun with this. Blow it up, play around, test it out to see what you like. Cause I think it's cooler for it to be a little bigger so it's not just like a perfectly framed page. You want the words and the music notes to sort of go off the edge. I think that's my personal opinion. I think that's more artistic. So I played around printing it out on just regular paper until I picked the size and the page that I wanted. When you've got that figured out, take some cool antique paper and print it out on that. Go to your local craft store and see the different designs they have. This is like the old yellowish antique parchment paper look. And then print it out on that paper. So pretty and cool already. And you can do all of that in the comfort and ease of your own home with your own personal computer and printer. This is an easy craft, you guys. Because this antique cardstock I got is 12 by 12, I did have to lay my regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper down, trace it, and then trim it out so it was this size that I could fit into my personal printer. And now that we have it printed out on eight and a half by 11, we're gonna have to trim it again because it now needs to fit into an eight by 10 frame. Or if you wanna do a five by seven frame, that would work as well. Whatever frame you wanna put it in, you're gonna now trim it down to make it fit. I'm using this silver frame that I just happen to have around. This is so easy, but it's also costing me next to nothing. I had most of this stuff. All I bought was this paper. I'm gonna use the mat that comes inside the frame. Whatever comes inside the frame is a good guideline to use and I'm gonna line it up and I'm gonna figure out what I'm willing to cut off and what I want to keep. Then I'm gonna trace it and trim it down. Drinking and trimming, drinking and trimming. I feel like this is such a fun craft that can be so personal. The song that you pick really does say a lot about you and like what you want to present in your home or maybe your workplace. So I have a little pencil here, so I'm going to erase that. Make sure it's pretty and clean. And there we go, guys. And the last step would be to put it in your frame. Perfect, oh my gosh, for once I cut something and didn't screw it up. I guess I haven't had too much to drink yet. Drum roll, please. Ta-da! Oh my God, I really do 
love this, actually. I think this is super cool. It's obviously very personal. How easy was that and cheap? The only thing I really bought was this antique paper, which was less than a dollar. It was like 50 cents, if I remember correctly. Picked out something that is meaningful to me, and now it will go on my wall. Honestly, it looks like vintage sheet music, like you spent thousands of dollars on some auction to get the original sheet music. No one will even know that you printed this off of your own computer for next to nothing. I hope this is a craft you guys will try. Please send me photos if you do and comment below on what song you would choose. Give this video a like please and I will see you next time. Cheers.